This is the light adjustable lens. It's a three piece lens with a photoreactive silicone optic and blue PMMA haptics. It has a yellow cap on the front, which is for UV protection. It's called active shield, but the lens is actually clear. While the light adjustable lens is the most precise monofocal lens out there, it is notorious for coming out of the injector in a vertical cartwheel fashion. This is due to the design of the injector. And I recently implanted another three-piece IOL, which is made of silicone and has blue PMMA haptics, which is made by Bosch and Lohm. And it came out of the injector in a very planar, flat, safe fashion. And so today I wanted to test the BNL injector with the light adjustable lens. So this is the EZ28 injector made for Bosch and Lohm lenses. It's not made for the RX Sight light adjustable lens, but I am going to try to inject it through this injector to see what happens. All right, here we go. Please come out perfectly. What do you guys think is going to happen? Is it going to make it through? This injector is made for 2.8 millimeter incisions also. They're both silicone, they're both three piece, and they both have blue PMMA haptics. All right, here we go. Let's see if it makes it through. I'm feeling a little bit of resistance right here, and I'm going to inject this lens slowly so I can watch carefully how it goes through. And you see a piece of the yellow part of the optic fall behind. Oh, the lens shredded in half. Oh man, I am so disappointed. I was really hoping this would work. I think we ought to try this again. I know RX Sight is working on a next generation, a new and improved injector for their lens implant, but I'm impatient. And so I wanna to try to see if I can make it work with another injector for three-piece silicone lenses. So what do you think? Is it gonna work this time? Well, here we go, and we'll find out. All right, so it looks like we left the trailing haptic behind. The leading haptic seems to be coming out fine. And here we go, another lens is shredded. Should we try it again? Maybe the third time's the charm. All right, so here we go, one more try. We're gonna take a light adjustable lens, put it in the EZ28 injector, make sure it's loaded properly, and it's ripped in half. You can see it there. There's no way this light adjustable lens is gonna make it through this injector. So why does the Bosch and Lohm silicone lens easily go through this injector, but not the light adjustable lens? And that's because they're not the same silicone. The light adjustable lens material is a little bit more friable. Now these light adjustable lenses have not been treated with the LDD device. They did not undergo light treatments, but they were not stored in the normal foil casing that blocks UV light. So maybe these light adjustable lenses have no more treatable polymers. Does that make a difference? Maybe if we got a fresh light adjustable lens that was stored in foil, maybe it'll go through the EZ28 injector. But there's one way we can test it in the lab before we test it on a patient, and that's to use these same sample lenses that have no UV protection and put it through the original RX Sight injector to see if the lens implant survives the injection. And so here we are, we're gonna load the light adjustable lens in the RX Sight injector, and here we go. Is it gonna rip in half through the RX Sight injector? And it makes it out perfectly. So the RX Sight injector is a little bit bigger and provides more space for the LAL to fit through it. So in conclusion, you cannot inject the light adjustable lens through the BNL EZ28, even though the BNL silicone three-piece lens is the same dimensions as the RX Sight light adjustable lens, the material of the light adjustable lens is more friable and will not survive going through the BNL injector system. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.